Amal is back with us. You have a bit of an advantage, Anthony, so I would get some guesses in. Oh, yeah, the fact that I'm a weather guy, perhaps I might have an idea on that. Doug, though, I, I, you probably don't need to be a meteorologist to figure that uh, the ice, uh, you know, I'm not an expert on ice, but uh, the mild early part of this cold season and uh, where we are now, I have seen on these area lakes, it does appear as though, uh, you know, there's a lot of ice around, but uh, I wouldn't be playing games too much with going out on the water with how many times we've been flirting with above freezing temperatures. And uh, when you, we get into the seven to 10 day, next seven to 10 days and even beyond, there's no real threat of major Arctic air. It doesn't look like at least through that first week of January. So, you know, once you get uh, into uh, the uh, middle of January, yeah, it can still get really cold, but uh, we're working our way through a good chunk of the heart of the winter season. So we'll see how it goes. There can be some changes on the models as we go forth. You see that 41 degree, High temperature from today. No, it was not this afternoon. Uh, if you're walking around, you know what I'm talking about. It was feeling much chillier than that. In fact, feeling like around 20 degrees with those wind chills as we sit at uh, 30 now in Grand Rapids. So most hours today, uh, I think we actually had like five or six hours where we were sitting at 31 degrees. Officially, our daytime high, though, was 34 in GR. 26 becomes a 25. And ultimately overnight tonight down to around 21 or 22. We do have some scattered clouds, but also a lot of breaks in those clouds now, so the mercury is likely to fall off, though we've got some breezes around here in the boundary layer, so that will prevent a massive drop off on a thermometer. But uh, I'm going to see how these clouds play out off of the models. If you buy the, the models, looks like some additional clouds tend to come back in. Not a firm overcast, I don't think, but uh, some additional clouds by late evening. And then we'll really watch the clouds increase about 24 hours from now, leading to some snow on Tuesday night. Biggest accumulation of the season. Yes, I am anticipating that. Having said that, uh, this is not going to be a crippling snowstorm. We're talking about a few inches here locally. And then another system for New Year's Day. That one will be interesting. Looks like a lot of mild air associated on the periphery of that system. May there be a wintry mixture that we have to contend with before it goes over to rain? It's possible. Stay tuned uh, on that one as we go forth. But we're really going to hone in on this system for later tomorrow night in just a moment. You see on the radar, there's nothing going on. There were a couple flurries earlier today. An area of high pressure building in from the Midwest. It's kind of a dirty high. There's going to be clouds underneath it, but it will allow for at least some sunshine tomorrow morning and early afternoon before this next system arrives and a lot of winter weather advisories, even some winter storm warnings out through Iowa, southern Wisconsin, and extreme northwestern Illinois. Around here, it's just winter weather advisories. But again, this is uh, kind of the upper echelon for what we've dealt with through, well, certainly November. We didn't have any of it and uh, December now. So our biggest snow of the season, I do believe, on track for late tomorrow night and early Wednesday morning in GR. Lesser accumulations will be down to the south. You'll see that in just a moment. Clouds, yes, but also a lot of breaks in those clouds overnight tonight. So uh, perhaps as low as 20, thinking 21 or 22, kind of the bullseye spot for where we land early tomorrow morning. And then this wave of snow. I mean, I'm talking 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow night. The bulk of tomorrow is going to be snow free. 9, 10 o'clock and through, I would say, 5, 6 in the morning on Wednesday. That'll be the zone while you're sleeping that we pick up likely a few inches in Grand Rapids. Even down to the south, there can be some slushy accumulations, but there will be more mixing going on by early morning Wednesday. So cutting down on accumulations for you folks, maybe an inch, inch and a half of complete slop that will tend to melt throughout the day on Wednesday. Uh, Kalamazoo, Battle Creek and southward here in Grand Rapids, a few inches, Doug. So that's kind of interesting. We haven't had much. 1.6 inches, our seasonal tally thus far. And look at this, Doug, if you like snow, you better get out there and enjoy it because the tendency to melt with temperatures in the 30s through the weekend. And we haven't seen a whole lot of it, too, either. Thank you, Anthony.